Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to show you the features of Oxen OS 3.5.5 community build and it is also known as Open Beta 6. If I go to uh, settings menu about phone you can find I am running on Oxen OS 3.5.5 which is based on Android 6.0.1 and uh, these are the options available here. First one is the added OnePlus file dash functionality. So what is file dash? File dash is a way you can transfer files from one OnePlus device to another device and here is the file manager option from where you can now use the file dash here you can see an icon here top so click that click on that one it will ask whether you need to send files or receive files suppose if you want to send file click send then you can choose any files you want is the images you can send audio video archives apks documents and then internal storage where you can choose different files and once your files are chosen just click on send and the it will turn on the wi-fi hotspot and you can see how the receiver can access this so if you have another OnePlus device you can go to the file manager and then click on the file dash and then choose receive and then connect to this one or if you have another device you can uh, connect tell your friends to connect to this wi-fi hotspot and then scan this qr or just go to one dot plus in any file uh, any web browser so this is how you can use this file dash and in the, in the mean in, in the meantime you can also uh, add more files to the queue so this that's how you can use it it is really good because uh, now you don't need to have a third-party applications like share it or sender for file sharing if you are having a oneplus devices so that's pretty cool and then next one is the ability to switch launcher layouts so suppose if you are a fan of uh, simplified uh, hydrogen OS layout here is an option to ch change your layout from Oxygen to Hydrogen. For that, you need to press and hold the blank screen anywhere in the home screen. Then go to settings here. Then here is an option called switch layout. Click that one. So here you can see this is the Oxygen OS layout. If you swipe right, you can see here you have the simplified layout, which is like a hydrogen layout. If you want to save that one, click save. Once it's confirmed, you can see the layout has been changed to hydrogen oil style so there won't be any app drawer so for those who would like to have a hydrogen oil style you can go for that one if not you can always switch back to standard layout so that is a re really pretty cool uh, feature Next one is the integration of um, Google Map to share ad location information in messages. Fine, if you go to messages and then click on uh, new message and then he here is an add button, click on add. And then here you have this navigation button, click on that one and it will open the current location. So you can choose which location you want to share and select this location and select it. Then you will get the detailed information about that location you can send it as a sms so that's about that and uh, next option is the redesign of the phone calling ui i'll show you an example so here i'm getting uh, this call i can choose here i can slide to ignore the incoming call or slide to sms replay so i have to cut the call so i try to take the call see options are here So that's about the phone calling UI and the next one is the added personalized ringtone information in contact details. So if you go to contacts here, select any contact, you can see a ringtone option here. So from here, if you click on the ringtone and then change ringtone for each and every contact you want to different one. So it is pretty neat. So you can uh, change uh, um, ringtone of your favorite contacts which is very easy now and the ability to view the entire call history of a selected contact so if you want to see a detailed call review you can see in this detail call details option the next one is the introduction of the uh, oneplus community app so if you go to menu you can see an application called community 
if you open the community app so this is like an option to choose if you, if you have a oneplus uh, account you can log in and then these are the different tabs you can choose from devices from like oneplus 2 oneplus 6 and the oneplus 1 3 so here is the topics different topics about one device let's say i have uh, one plus two for now you can see all the posts in one plus forum related to one plus two and here is different uh, filters i can use remember you can uh, log in so if you're a one plus fan you can always go and check out this app you can find details about uh, different mods roms and everything it's really pretty good so that's about community build and then increase resistance stability and general bug fixes. So these are the function, these are the features added to this latest build of 3.5.5. This is a really good build which with uh, more features you can definitely go and try it. And if you want to know how to install this one uh, manually using GWRP, I will provide a link in the description. From there you can download the ROM and then install it. That's it guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.